let us come back and start with the next category of chemical reactions of carboxylic acids till now what do we do we have picked up a carboxylic acid then we have seen the cleavage of the oh bond in that we had we have studied different reasoning questions what do we study we have studied the acidic nature of carboxylic acid i also told you how should you remember the different categories how should you study the reactivity with different examples please go through the examples right now let us come back and see the second category of reactions that is cleavage involving co bond that means every time there is a cleavage of the bond which is occurring at this particular point that is your nucleophile suppose if i pick up in terms of nucleophile oh minus gets eliminated out right let us see so when i whenever you see in the paper acetic acid and this so what is this agent p2o5 or h2so4 all these are dehydrating agents so let us write h2so4 p2o5 <coughs> h3po4 all these are dehydrating agents they have to remove water from the particular reaction right so now when i'm take pp2o5 phosphorus pentoxide how does this reaction look now you have your acetic acid correct you are going to add one more molecule of acetic acid right in this way one right in this direction the other right in the other direction so it, this is most important in the exam right you have to remember the mode or the effect of that particular reagent then only you can do uh, start with your reaction now what is this p2 you will heat it when you're heating it observe carefully this one h from here and one oh from here gets eliminated so what do i get i have to eliminate from the reaction water because this is dehydrating the reaction then join everything now start with ch3 now <clears throat> there is one co here okay also start from here ch3 there is one co here isn't it now what is linking o is linking both this is called both these are called acetic acids and this is called acetic anhydride acetic anhydride means acetic acid condensed without <coughs> condensed molecule of acetic acid with removal of water so this is acetic anhydride simple one and two eliminate waters because you have seen this after eliminating water write the product form acetic anhydride done so we have done with the first reaction let us start with the second reaction the second reaction is called <clears throat> yeah now what should i do i have to take reaction 2 right i have to take an acid and i have to add an alcohol to this right we've already studied in grade 10 acid plus alcohol in the presence of sulfuric acid <coughs> forms ester plus water so what type of reaction whenever you see an acid and whenever you see an alcohol in the paper let it be any acid let it be any alcohol the type of reaction is esterification reaction esterification reaction remember now esterification reaction here also same <coughs> concept you have you're adding dilute sulfuric acid to this and this is a reversible reaction right so all esterification esterification reactions are reversible that is why we try to add sulfuric acid so that you get the forward ester formation not back backward reaction where you get acid and alcohol again right so the role of sulfuric acid is to form the former products so take out uh, cleave the bond and then you can pick up h from here and oh from here remove water so what do you get ch3 your co group and your <coughs> what is this group now it is called ester which ester <coughs> this is <coughs> methyl group isn't it right so this is ethyl there are two carbons here eth this is methyl so start uh, even uh, right uh, methyl ethanoate right right methyl ethanoate or dimethyl ester anything will do dimethyl ester also will do what a problem so plus water this is one more cleavage where I've cleaved the bond at OH position. That's why it's coming under that category. Let us come back and start with the next one. Now, next category of reactions, we have been doing the same reaction in um, <coughs> which one? Haloalkanes, halodenes. I've done the same reaction in uh, alcohols, phenols, and ethers. I'm doing the same reaction again in aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids. So I said, whenever you're seeing PCl3 in the reaction, Whenever you see PCL5 in the reaction, whenever you see SOCl2, one important thing you have to remember, just see 
PCL3 whenever you are taking try to take 3 moles of acetic acid because 3 hydroxyl groups should be replaced by 3 CLs that is your nucleophilic substitution so I am going to take PCL3 what do you get <coughs> always first important thing is there is exchange of this OH by your CL 3 OH will be replaced by 3 CLs so I get CH3 COCl acyl chloride after that <coughs> this hydrogen comes out as H3 PO3 remember this so what if we say 3 chlorine so I have to write this as so phosphoric acid very important I have done the same reaction in all three chapters please go through the video again so that you will understand this concept simple 3 hydroxyl replaced by 3 CLs 3 CLs these 3 hydrogens are coming out as H3 oxygen is still existing with 3 because they have taken 3 and phosphorus is there phosphoric acid when I write with PCL5 now let us write CH3 COH where should I cleave the bond I have to cleave the bond exactly here isn't it yes this is where is a point that is why I am studying under the heading COH now what did I say I said PCL5 means basically the reaction is like this 5 how should you what do you get first important thing <coughs> is your CH3 CO this becomes plus and this becomes minus yes so the one CL has to cleave or one CL from here is going to attack this because this is your negative charge and this is your positive this goes and attacks and it forms acyl chloride done now after that what are we left with we are left with <coughs> phosphorus oxygen and chlorines just observe p1 your oxygen the second one and your one two three pocl3 phosphoxy chloride plus the leftover hydrogen and cl hcl comes out i did again i'm repeating same reaction was done in the earlier chapters please watch it right so now I am done with PCL5. So the next reaction or next re let me erase all these so that the board is clear for you all. So CH3, COH plus PCL5. Okay. Now I have to start with thionyl chloride. So Cl2 is thionyl chloride. We very well know whenever you are heating thionyl chloride, <coughs> the first uh, byproduct which you get is sulfur dioxide gas. Okay. That is what you have studied. That is why we, we prepare haloalkanes from thionyl chloride, most economical method. So, as soon as you see in the exam, thionyl chloride, try to write both gaseous products. Sulfur dioxide gas is a gaseous product. HCl also is vapor. Both are out. So, sulfur dioxide from where did I get? Basically, let us write the reaction. CH3, COH plus SOCl2. What, what did I get? I have to cleave the bond here. <clears throat> so, what did I get? This sulfur and this oxygen has come out of sulfur dioxide. And this hydrogen and this chlorine has come out as HCl. What are we left with? We are left with one chlorine here and the leftover acid <coughs> CH3CO minus is left. So, CH3CO plus is left. So, join that. This is your minus and this is your cation. Now, join that cation acyl chloride. That's it. I am done everywhere. I try to cleave the OH bond only. So, this comes under the OH bond reactions. So, we will do again ammonia. So, please note it. I will write the products again. <coughs> this is your first product which we have written with elimination of water for the second one we have written acid plus alcohol we have written it is an reversible reaction we have written ester plus water so these are all the reactions we'll do again with ammonia <coughs> 